Hi, I'm Rebecca Heinrichs, a senior fellow at Hudson Institute, and I want to give you my two-minute take on the nuclear threat to America and what we should do about it. The United States faces a new phenomenon. We must defend our vital interests against not just one, but two major nuclear powers, Russia and China. The risk of miscalculation or of a conventional regional war escalating to a nuclear war is real. China's nuclear weapons stockpiles expected to at least double over the next decade. The CCP is investing in air, sea, and land delivery systems so that it has a formidable triad. And it was recently revealed that China is building new silos that can hold ICBMs, each with multiple warheads. Russia is expanding the role of nuclear weapons in its defense strategy. It is developing a range of nuclear-capable regional missiles that are difficult to track, let alone defend against. These new weapons support Russia's coercive escalation strategy against NATO allies. The United States must adapt to preserve relative peace and to deter attacks against U.S. vital interests. A credible, flexible, and tailored nuclear weapons arsenal strengthens the deterrent effect of our conventional weapons. And as the U.S. military carries out operations around the world and projects power in the face of our adversaries, they are strengthened by our nuclear force. Since the Cold War, the United States has sought to move away from nuclear weapons in our national defense strategy. Now we have an aging, decades-old nuclear force. We do not have the ability to produce nuclear warheads at the scale necessary to meet our deterrent needs safely and reliably. The Biden administration appears poised to continue the Obama and Trump administration's efforts to modernize our nuclear weapons. But there is already pressure to delay aspects of the modernization project. That would be a mistake. Our nation should build on the bipartisan consensus without delay to modernize our triad of delivery systems and nuclear weapons. Failing to do so risks upsetting the relative peace we have enjoyed for 70 years. For more information, click on the links below or visit Hudson.org. Thanks for watching.